morning tubers um yeah another overcast one and uh, after yesterday's um well video of grime and filth and everything else i'm pleased to say today uh, it's going to be much the same let me show you today's job so today seats these are the seats obviously at the tigra um this is the driver's seat and it's a common fault with these and uh I'm not surprised you look on the internet and people say yep happens a lot this bit here so when you get in and out of the car um, that bit there is basically the frame the metal frame and what's happened is the foam around it has obviously split and let the frame come through so when you get it in and out of the car um, you kind of sit on that and it hurts your bum which is not ideal um, the rest of the seat pretty good to be honest filthy and they are in desperate need of a clean which will be a job i'm doing today but obviously that i need to fix first so right let's get on with it so by the looks of it that's got to come off first um there'll probably be some more disassembling um but that off first shouldn't be a big job and then looking at it um i think it is clipped in at the bottom here yeah, so similar to any other seat, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, just a bit of dismantling to do first. Right, let's waffle, get on with it. So that's the first piece off. Um, just for reference, you've got a screw there that goes into that bit there. You've got a screw at the front, which is whoop, on the... Whoop, let me show this on there. So a screw in the front. And a horrible plastic clip like this. On the back there um, that one you just need to um, give it a bit of Ooh! but it does come off so there you go first bit off carry on that bit there just just pulls off there you go <laughs> easy right so I can now see the base itself what I think I might do is take the back off because I think it will make things easier for me um, yeah the seat cover is connected at the back there as you can see clipped over and it's pretty much the same at the front as well so yeah i think the back needs to come off definitely right so i took the bolts out on the other side just need to uh, pop that off just like that and then give that a bit of a tug that should come straight off he says <laughs> come on don't do me wrong there we go clip at the back and that pops off there and there you go one bolt all right let's drop this bottom so right uh Seatbelt and pretensioner loosened off as well because I need to get to that bolt under there. Getting there, all the learning curve. Just for reference, that one there is an 18. Bit of a weird size. It'll catch your eye out, I'm sure. And there you have it, one seat in two parts. Obviously, you've got all the wires here for uh, you know, your airbag and everything else. So, uh, what I might do, because um, these haven't got heated seats, I might just get rid of that, because they are frankly going to get in the way. So there you go. Disconnected. So here's my base. This is the bit I want. And now I've just got to slip the cover off. So in theory, it should be quite easy. Uh, that first, I believe. But I'm going to need two hands for this. And then the front somehow is pinched in there. Um, yeah, that I need to work out. I think when the back comes off, it may actually just drop forward. Right, let's get the back off and see where we go. So yeah, the back slips off quite easily. And then by the looks of it, you've got much the same arrangement all the way around. Just hooks in. Yeah, I guess I should have probably took this off before I started as well. <laughs> What's this? This is, for reference, a T25. Um, there you go. So you can't get the cover off, obviously. Without taking that off, and we start lifting it up. And there you go. Well, there's the problem. So these are obviously for your bolsters, but obviously it's a bit worn through there. So I just need to pad that up, really. Yeah, but it's not looking too bad, apart from the bolster bits. But uh, as I say, from what I can see on the internet, it is a common problem. But one idea I did have was a good old sponge. I think if I cut it in half maybe, put it up there, that will be a good form of protection. Well, I've padded it back out again. Um, don't get me wrong, it's not 100%. Um, 
and that needs a little bit of manipulation but it's a whole heap better than it was so what I might do is just build that bit up there a little bit um, in time obviously the lumpiness will go away but um, yeah at least now it's comfortable <laughs> which was the main aim well it's not bad there's a little bit of a lump there again this is going to sort of over time it is going to go down um, it's not going to be perfect I know that but it's a lot better than it was at least if you sit on that now you've got a bit of padding on your backside um, also did a little bit on this side as well I've got to say whoever designed these seats um, they didn't do a lot of longevity testing because it was obviously going to break <laughs> because of those bars sticking up um, to me they should have been something a little bit more molded um, not relying on the foam but that's that's my opinion and it doesn't matter all right um, a little bit more fettling and then I'll put it back together and we'll give it a good clean there yeah? don't look bad don't look bad at all do a bit on that side as well like I say it's going to mould into place uh, no it just needs a good clean up it's um, an awful lot better than it was without doubt well that's the first pass of it and um, yeah it's come up come up quite nice excellent so I've given that a second pass and that's come up a treat I've just noticed that I was going to clean this one and uh, yeah there's a bit of sag in there as well so I think I'm going to pop that cover off and also booster that up a little bit it's okay that side but yeah this side is definitely gone so yeah while I'm here let's do it oh there's an airbag there Ooh, careful Reeves and there you go all back together again cleaned up looking not bad at all bolsters ain't bad have settled down quite nicely yeah not uh, not too shabby that will do for a great old car so rinse and repeat then this one not so bad a um, little bit there and a little bit there but uh, yeah not as bad as the driver's seat but uh, filthy as hell <laughs> right uh, rinse and repeat so that's the passenger side seat just about done um, built the bolsters up again like I did on the last one just gave it the first going over with the clean needs another one but uh, yeah looking pretty good leave it out in the sun for a while like the uh, like the other one over there and uh, we'll be good and that's it the old girls back together again all nice and clean let me take you inside unlock her there you go but you can't smell it because it smells nice and fresh now yep seats are all clean yeah bolster feels pretty good yeah not bad for a weekend's work all right next job is uh get a remoteed get that renewed and then uh yeah last job will be trying to sort the windows out but um, I've got some software, the Opcom software coming. So hopefully I can do something with that and fix the little problem. Because um, to be honest, she's not a bad car. Not a bad car at all. Well, the MOT will tell, obviously. But as far as I can tell, um, it's been looked after in its life. Up until recently, probably. But yeah, it's got a new lease of life. And uh, yeah, it could be a nice little run around for the summer months. And then a nice little car for somebody else. All right, thanks for joining me, YouTube. Catch you later.